I'm pleased to provide a brief highlight of some of the accomplishments and new initiatives of the Ministry of Youth, Families, Sports, and Community Development, which I believe will preserve family life and the advancement of our children, encourage excellence in amateur sports locally and internationally, and promote the empowerment of our people through meaningful social programs and initiatives. The Department of Youth, Sports, and Recreation has led development of an Anti-Doping in Sport Act. This legislation will establish the Bermuda Council for Drug-Free Sport as the Sport Anti-Doping Agency for Bermuda, which will have full responsibility for athlete testing, compliance with the World Anti-Doping Code, and the provisions of international convention against doping in sport. The Department of Community and Cultural Affairs has awarded cultural legacy fund grants to 21 recipients thus far whose important work helps to sustain cultural programs in our community. The Cultural Legacy Fund was established in 2009 as an annual series of awards to further promote the legacy of culture and heritage following from the celebration of Bermuda's 400 years of continuous human settlement. The fund aims to foster excellence, increase access and participation, and facilitate development and growth in culture heritage, and the arts. In 2010, the categories of awards included dance, development, drama, film, heritage and culture performance, music, research and culture, and heritage. This evening, it would be great if you could all attend the National Gallery. That's the Bermuda National Gallery, where the ministry will launch a second poetry anthology entitled this Poem Worthy Place, a Bermuda Anthology of Poetry, Volume 2, featuring works of all local poets. The Department of Human Affairs website will go live next month, or well, this month, February, and will include a calendar of events for the 100th anniversary of the International Women's Day celebrations on March the 8th. Bermuda's 2011 theme for this event will be Strong Women Create Strong Communities and it will include uh, the International Women's Day website uh, at www.internationalwomensday.com being launched as well. The website, is intended, the website is intended to provide information regarding the activities that will be taking place around the world pertaining to celebrations of the 100th anniversary of the International Women's Day. Plans are also underway for a number of events to commemorate <coughs> and highlight the 100th anniversary of Inter International Women's Day and highlight the accomplishments of women in Bermuda, particularly during the past 100 years, whose activities have furthered the opportunities for women and opened the doors to build a broader and more inclusive community. The ministry broke ground recently and commenced construction of a national swimming pool at the National Sports Center. The Department of Youth, Sports and Recreation has undertaken a review of our sports policy and revised national sports policy will be uh, completed soon. New initiatives include work on drafting a new national cultural heritage policy, the formation of an entertainment task force to examine how to revitalize the music and entertainment industry in Bermuda. And in fact, this afternoon, just before coming here, I opened a meeting at the ministry with members of the task force who have all volunteered to take ownership of the challenges that are facing the entertainment industry. Um, and I, you know, I don't have a problem with the Queen's English, but I don't like spinning circles through words. So as a first commitment in showing good faith to the stakeholders in the industry, we have committed through the uh, Department of Community and Cultural Affairs to task the task force with producing uh, entertainment at our annual Heritage Day. So during Heritage Day, uh, there will be two stages, one at City Hall, one at Victoria Park, uh, that will uh, profile and showcase some of Bermuda's best entertainment uh, during the course of the entire day of celebration. So I'm very, very excited about that, as is the stakeholders, who are entertainers, producers, and infrastructure service providers. Uh, supporting entertainment uh, and uh, the performing arts. So uh, I would hope that all of you will be there with your cameras as well 
on uh, Heritage Day to catch some of Bermuda's best entertainment that's available and are looking to be working in our fine establishments throughout the country as we hope to revitalize the entertainment industry, not just for locals, but indeed for tourists and visitors alike that come to our shores to enjoy the Bermuda experience. We also have a new program which will be called Conversations with the Minister, which will be launched on CITV. This will be uh, in commemoration and celebration of Heritage Month, May 2011, to celebrate Bermuda's traditions and culture and history and the production of the first in a series of folk-like documentary projects uh, is another uh, initiative, among others, that uh, we are planning during the course of this uh, fiscal year. Thank you very much.